our goal with this problem is to show that not P and Q is equivalent logically to not P or not Q. And so you wonder what's the definition of logically equivalent? Here it is over here. Compound propositions are called equivalent or logically equivalent if their truth values agree. And what better way to figure out whether or not truth values agree than using a truth table? So I've set up the truth table, and we're going to end up comparing this column, not P or not Q, to this column, not P and Q, to figure out whether or not these two columns agree in truth values. Okay, so I've already set this up, uh, as I said, and I have the normal two true, two, two false, true, false, true, false, and... Here in the first column, I just have to negate P. And so not true means false. Not true means false. Not false means true. We won't spend too much time on it. And not false means true. Now, for Q, when I negate Q, I have false, true, false, true. I seem to have some strobe effect because a light's about to go out. Um, don't let that bother you. Just ignore that. And uh, in, for this column, I've got to find this disjunction of not P, not Q. So it's not P or not Q. So false or false is definitely false. False or true is definitely true. True or false is true. True or true is true. Okay, so we're close to the end here. P and Q, I need to get P and Q before I negate it. So P and Q here, I go back to the beginning, true and true is true. True and false is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. Okay, now I'm going to negate this guy right here. And so this becomes false, and then true, and then true, and then true. So all I did was negate this column because that's what this negative sign is telling me, the negation sign is telling me. So now what I do is I compare these two columns, and if they're the same in the truth table, then indeed I have two propositions that are equivalent. So sure enough, they agree. So we have shown that this guy is equivalent logically to this guy, and if you look closely, you'll recognize this as one of the De Morgan's laws, but we'll talk about that more later on.